All right, so looking at catching spotted bass, especially in the fall time, <clears throat> it can be a really interesting time to fish. You're coming out of the hot summer months, and as soon as you start to get those shorter days and those cooler nights, you get what we call fall turnover. Is during the summertime, all the daytime heating and everything, the, the surface temp is, is the hottest water on the lake. The bottom of the lake is the is the, the coolest water of the lake. And you, of course, you got your thumb recline in the middle, which is sort of a mix. And everything during the summertime is in that top layer. Um, it has all the oxygen, all the food. So fish actually don't really go that deep this time of the year. And when we start to get those first cool nights, the surface temp starts to cool. So you have pretty much a stagnant water temperature through the whole water column. And they have that process of actually flipping over where the warmer water is gonna be deeper and the cooler water is gonna be at the top. And so what happens, you go from all the bait and structure and life being in the top water part, uh, column, top part of the water column, now this fish can survive all through the water column from 50 foot deep all the way to two foot. So it kind of scatters the fish. I really like catching spotted bass this time of the year. I think they're the easiest to catch this time of the year. They really feed hard. And that's what I've been doing primarily. And I'm using very simple tactics, just using a drop shot. I'm getting on those timber edges anywhere the timber drops off in that 35 40 foot of water i'm getting right on the edge of where it's slick bottom going it's transitioning to the timber and i'm just using the graph as my eyes and i just kind of get out there and mill around and plop my drop shot around and as soon as i mark a fish or some comes up schooling i keep a, a top water bait on a small three inch swim bait and i drop shot and i do all of my damage with uh, pretty much those three baits you know your graphs are really really important i don't use them that much um, typically throughout the year but during the fall and winter periods I use them a lot. A lot of times I use a swim bait or a, a moving bait something I can search with. I'll throw that out there and I'll search around on those points and humps so I can cover a lot of water all the time. I'm keeping my eyes on my graph. I'm watching the graph as I'm fishing. I'm fishing and I'm watching my graph. If I see anything on the boat I'm definitely going to turn around and drop my drop shot on it. A lot of times you have to fish to find these fish. You're not going to find them just by uh, idling over there. Right. What I'm doing here is there is a big point that comes off of here and it dumps off into the river channel. And all I'm doing is I'm getting right on the edge of that timber line and just uh, dropping my drop shot, just kind of searching for them uh, with my graph. And uh, even those suspended fish that I'm trying to fish for, I'm still going to drop a drop shot to them. A lot of times they're in over. 50 60 foot of water but they're only in the 30 foot or shallower and i'm just going to drop my drop shot down on top of them and watch them follow the bait down and take it they almost always take it on the bottom you know it's really important to know what the fish are feeding on and of course i live on a blueback heron lake and the fish are just notorious for feeding on on blueback heron and um, but thread fin is a huge part of the fish's diet even here on lake Harwell. even though it's known for blueback heron um they, they feed on a lot of thread fin shad as well so a lot of times, if I need to get more bites, I'm going to lean towards smaller baits. Um, my favorite is the three, Streaks 375 from Z-Man in just about any color. That's a shad pattern always works well. And small, smaller swim baits during this time of the year. During the spring time of the year, I like to use a little bit bigger swim baits. Um, but you can see they're, they're feeding on really, really small shad, small size shad. So the smaller bait sizes are always going to be a little bit better. They're definitely main lake oriented, and a little bit more aggressive than largemouth. Um, they're very fast swimmers, fairly aggressive fish, and they're a lot of fun to catch. They're really strong, they pull a lot of drag. So if you're looking to get out there and catch some spotted bass, you can't go wrong anytime you got a drop shot and some type of swim bait in your hand. Never be scared. I'll usually lean towards a small, smaller size out here, but never be scared to use big baits. They're very aggressive fish. Um, they don't have any shame. They're no problem taking a big bait. Big swim baits, they'll hit those as well if you really want to search for those magnums. But if you want to catch numbers, keep your drop shot in your hand, a small swim bait. If you want to get out there and catch a magnum, put some big baits in your hands, big swim baits, big top waters, and you'll catch a lot of, a lot of spotted bass this year.